welcome back uh, moving on on to our uh, office 365 series in SharePoint next is secure store so let's see what secure store is secure store is credentials so it's not an app store it's a credential store so you store all of your credentials that user need for external sites or for account names password etc yep external business application mapping the credentials so you have st them stored here and when somebody hours an app or service uh, object needs to access an external website they can access it so we have like target application id we you have to have an id that is a unique uh, identifier or display name contact email the person email or the target application email like we have seen that uh, you can give emails to laptops or uh, conference room meeting rooms etc and if it's like a windows uh, machine or access to is uh, folder file folder you can give your credentials here target application administrator in the who is the admin of this application you can in case of who needs to be contacted or who will manage it you can give again Ali and then other members you can add them here so if I go and click Ali hit enter he gonna show up there so you see it changed uh, let's see Aslan and if I hit enter it's gonna say it's gonna give me an error so I'm gonna put Aslan Now it's gonna give me error right not exact match so let's remove it and click OK oh ah uh, okay I should have canceled it because I have to fill these forms as well so I'm not gonna fill them that's why I'm canceling it very easy secure store store again it's not for apps it's for the credentials both internal or external like anything that no not a, internal I'm, I apologize uh, like office 365 manages your internal thing uh, external resource could be like any whether a machine or a website URL anything so that's the secure store I'm gonna wrap this video here next we're gonna just see apps and we are done because we saw the rest of them in our earlier videos because they were easily accessible through here so this is the revamped version of a, a admin center SharePoint admin center so when you click more you get all of these and each one clicking here opens up in a traditional or uh, pre um, old admin interface so we saw the sharing it's right there uh, it's in settings for example setting it there hybrid we did talk about it like what is hybrid and all that so I'm not gonna touch anything below this we saw the migration loss before we started this one so next one is app and that should be it for the sharepoint series thank you thank you for watching and see you in the next one